This is Into Math for Second Grade, Module 14, Lesson 3. We are going to start on page 344, and we are going to use drawings and equations to represent two-digit addition. The I can statement is I can use bar models and equations to represent and solve two-digit addition word problems. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 344. We will start under Build Understanding. Some children were in Mrs. Smith's classroom. Then 10 children left. Now there are 20 children in the room. How many children were in the Mrs. Smith's class to start? Okay, so we will start with part A. It asks us to complete the bar model to represent the problem. Use a square for the unknown number. So we are looking to find out how many children were in Mrs. Cla Smith's class to start. So that's going to be this number here, which is our unknown. We don't know what that number is. So we're going to go ahead and put that box here because we don't know what that number is. What we do know is that 10 children left. So we're going to go ahead and write in 10 here for the 10 children that left. And then we were told that 20 children were in the room, which is this number here, 20. Okay, so now we're going to move on to part B. Model the problem with a subtraction equation. Use a square for the unknown number. So we have the unknown number and we are going to take away or use a subtraction equation the number 10 because 10 kids left and what what were we told um, in the word problem that there were 20 children in the room after 10 left so this 20 is going to go right here now let's look at part c how can you add to find the answer well we're looking at our bar model and we have two numbers one two that make this number so we can explain our thinking by writing, I can add the number of children who left the room, which would be this 10, to the number of children who are still in the room, which would be this number 20. And you may want to pause to write this information down. Now we will look at part D. Write an addition equation to represent and solve the problem. So just like we had explained in part C, we are going to write the number of students who um, left the room plus the number of students that were still in the room, and that will give us the total amount of students. 10 plus 20 equals 30. So we have solved the problem. How many children were in Mrs. Smith's room to start? we can answer 30 children. Great job. Let's take a look at the next page, page 345. A librarian puts 58 books on the first shelf. She puts 31 more books on the first shelf than on the second shelf. How many books does she put on the second shelf? Okay, let's take a look together at part A. Complete the bar model to represent the problem. Use a square for the unknown number. So using this bar model, we know that up here on the first shelf, there were 58 books. So we'll go ahead and write in 58 here on the top shelf. Then we were told that she puts 31 more books on the first shelf than on the second shelf. So here's the 31 more books. So we're going to go ahead and write in 31 here. And that means that right here is our unknown because we're looking to see how many books does she put on the second shelf, which is here. And so we will go ahead and draw in that square for the unknown number. Now let's take a look at part B. 
Model the problem with an addition equation. Use a square for the unknown number. Okay, so we're looking for an addition problem. We know that total, there's going to be 58 on the top shelf, and then we're looking at the second shelf. So the first shelf has 58, which is the total of the unknown plus the books that we were told were put on the second shelf. So we're going to take the books that she put on the second shelf, which is 31, plus the unknown to make an addition equation. Now part C is asking us to write a subtraction equation to represent and solve the problem. So we have our total amount here, 58, and what we know is that there are 31 books, but we don't know is um, how many books are on the second shelf. So we're going to make a subtraction problem using our big number, 58 here, and we're going to take away 31, which is the difference here, to find out what is our unknown, which equals this unknown. Okay, now we can look at part D. How many books does she put on the second shelf? You may want to pause to do this subtraction problem. 58 take away 31. I'm going to do this on the side over here, 58 take away 31. I notice first the ones column, eight take away one is seven, and then my tens column, five take away three is two. So there are 27 books on the second shelf. Now it asks us to explain how you could add to solve this problem. One way that you could add to solve this problem would be that you could count by your tens and your ones when you start from 31 and you go to 58. So if we have 31, we could count on until we reached 58 to find that uh, number that's missing. Let's take a look at the next page, page 346 under Step It Out. Olive has 15 ears of corn. Max has 12 more ears of corn than Olive. How many ears of corn does Max have? Now we're going to look at part A. Complete the bar model with a square for the unknown number. So we know that Olive has 15 ears of corn and that Max has 12 more ears of corn than olive. So what we're looking for is our unknown, which is the ears of corn that Max has. So we're going to go ahead and draw in the square for the unknown number. Now we're going to model the problem with an addition equation. We're going to use the square for the unknown number. So we have a number here, a number here, and they make the total of the unknown here. Maybe you would like to pause and try this part on your own. And when you come back, you can check your answer that it would be 15 plus 12 to equal the unknown, which would be the number of corn, years of corn that Max has. Let's take a look at part C. Add to find the unknown number in this problem. The square holds the place of the number that is unknown. Write the addition equation. This time, write the number instead of the square. So we are going to complete this problem, 15 plus 12. And again, you may want to pause and try this part on your own, or you can follow along with me. I'm going to write the problem vertically, and I'm going to add the ones column first, five plus two equals seven, and then the tens column, one plus one equals two. So my answer, when I add 15 plus 12 equals 27. So I have now solved this problem. How many ears of corn does Max have? Max has 27 ears of corn. Great work. Let's check for understanding. Complete the bar model. Write an addition equation with a square for the unknown number. 
write and solve your equation. There are 21 people on a bus. 33 more get on. How many people are on the bus now? Maybe you would like to try to pause and solve this on your own and come back, or you can follow along with me. We know that there are 21 people on a bus and that 33 more get on. So what we're looking for is the unknown when we put 21 and 33 together. So we will go ahead and write in our unknown here for the total on our bar model. And we will write the equations 21 plus 33 make our unknown, which is the people on the bus. And then now we will solve this equation. I like to solve the equation by writing it vertically up and down. So I'm going to do that here on the side. 1 plus 3, the 1's column, makes 4. And in my 10's column, I have 2 plus 3, which makes 5. So I find that when I add 21 plus 33, my answer is 54. So there are 54 people. Great job. You can always go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way anytime that you need to.